So in number five, we're being asked to figure out the identity of a element, which has a formula of E3H8. And we were also told the percent composition of that compound, which contains 91.27% E and 8.73% hydrogen. So let's think about this real quickly. Typically, when we want to find empirical formula, what we do is we take the percent composition and we convert it to mass, and then you divide the mass by the molar mass gives you the number of moles of the element. And then you get element one, and then you do it again, same thing for element two, you get the ratio of the number of moles, and that's your empirical formula. So here, it's kind of working backwards a little bit, because they give you the empirical formula, which is E3H8, and they give you the masses in the form of these percent masses. And so the question is, you have to figure out somehow the molar mass, right? Because that's the missing component. If you know the molar mass, then you can find out what element you have there. So remember that we can always assume 100 grams of compound, right? Which means we have 91.27 grams of E and 8.73 grams of hydrogen. Typically what we'll do is we would get number moles of E would be 91.27 divided by its molar mass. We don't know what it is, so we're gonna try to find that out. And then the number of moles of hydrogen is just the 8.73 divided by one, because that's the molar mass of hydrogen. So that's equal to 8.73 moles. And then, so the idea is that the ratio of this number here to this number is also three over eight. We can write an equation that looks like this, 91.27 divided by the molar mass of E over 8.73, because this is basically the ratio of number of moles of E to hydrogen should equal three over eight. So now this becomes an algebra problem. You can do a little cross multiplication. So you get 91.27 over molar mass of E times eight. That should equal to 8.73 times three. And then if you isolate molar mass of E, that becomes 91.27 times eight over 8.73 times three. And all of this would have units of grams per mole at the end. And then so what you find is that this would end up being about 27.879 grams per mole. Closest number to that is, in terms of molar mass, is aluminum, okay? So our answer here then is aluminum.